What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you probably noticed from the title of the video, we're talking about periods and menstrual cups and period stuff. So if this doesn't pertain to you, then you don't have to watch if you don't want to, but it's kind of an interesting topic either way. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with like a little bit of a background of like my period history and what I've done to kind of deal with my period and, and all of that stuff. So I'm just gonna start with that just so you guys kind of know where I'm coming from and can either relate to me or not to re not relate to me or whatever, but you at least kind of know how my life with my period's been. So I started my period late. I started I think when I was 14, so kind of a lot later than most people. And to be completely honest, I have a pretty light period and I don't really cramp a whole lot. Uh, I sometimes cramp a little bit more around ovulation, more so than my period, or like the day that my period starts, I'll feel a little discomfort and notice that like I'm gonna start my period, but it's never like those debilitating cramps that like some of my friends have and some people that I know that I know it's very common. So I've been blessed, I never really had that, and I kind of have a short period in length too. Um, actually my period, now that I'm tracking it is like a 28 day cycle exactly which I love because that's the cycle of the moon and I feel really good when I'm on that kind of womanly cycle with the moon so yeah that's kind of like a history of my period stuff like pretty simple I don't really have any issues anything like that but I started using pads that's what I first started with because I think it was just like all my friends were like, I'll just do this. And it was just, that's what everyone was using at the time. And it was like, just seemed easy and shoving something inside of my body just wasn't something I was wanting to do yet. And I was just like, well, I don't really get it. So pads sounded easy. So I really wore those for a while. And those, as you guys know, are not fun. They're like not, <laughs> they're kind of gross. They gross me out at least kind of just to have it like sitting in your like underwear. Um, and so I did that, I don't know, maybe for like a year maybe not even a year probably not even a year and then i remember i was at a friend's house and she was like you haven't tried tampons yet and i was like no i'm kind of scared and she's like just try it you'll love it and i like sat in the bathtub i think for some reason and did, i don't know what i just have weird rem memories of that moment and like put it in and stood up and i was like why didn't i know about this before <laughs> and that's how i feel about menstrual cups so uh we'll get to that in a minute but um I was like, this is amazing. I don't even like, there's not something there. It's not obvious. Like I feel like just normal. I can do activities and all this stuff. So at the time I was like, sweet tampons are awesome. And that is what I used up until like two years ago. So from the time I was like 15, I would say until I was about 29, um, I was using, so that's a hell of a long time. I was using tampons, like just your regular like bleached tampons. Towards the end of that, I was trying to get like organic cotton and, and looking for a little bit more environmental friendly options and stuff like that, but I was still using tampons. And I thought they were fine and great and I didn't love them. They weren't my favorite, especially because I don't have a super heavy flow. So they weren't my favorite like to take in and, or put in and take out when I was kind of on the lighter end of things um, or at the very beginning, but they were fine enough. They seemed like that was what you do and better than anything else until menstrual cups came into my life <laughs> and those like seriously changed my life and the very first one i had was called a diva cup i do not remember who introduced me to it it was kind of like just a thing all of a sudden that i started hearing about and especially in the community of people wanting to do good things for the environment and not cause harm if they can help it and that's definitely i fall into that category and so i was like okay i guess i'll try it out so i don't even know one of my friends must have tried it or something like that and was like, oh my god, it's awesome. So at the time I just went down to the local co-op and picked up a Diva Cup. And that was like kind of the original one or the first one and still people call it that even if they have different brands, that's kind of the name that kind of a lot of people call it. Or menstrual cups, but that was kind of the first ones that kind of like got bigger was the Diva Cup. And so I got it and if you guys are not knowing what I'm talking about at all, I'm going to show you in a hot minute what a menstrual cup is and walk you through that. But um, I got a menstrual cup. At first it was weird, ended up loving it. Like, just like anything, it kind of takes time to get used to. So if you switch over to this and you're like, this is weird, I don't like this, give it some time. It's just something new. You have to kind of play around with it and figure out how your body works because everybody's different. But I love it now so much and I, unless something else comes out that's new and better, I will never go back to tampons. I will, well, I never will go back to tampons, but I'll probably do this for a hot minute until 
something better comes out. So, um, or, or this might just be the best. So menstrual cups, what are they? How do they work? Why are we talking about them? What in the hell are they? So I, like I said, I started with a diva cup, uh, and that was great. It was like 30, 40 bucks when I first bought it. And there's two sizes, a small and a large, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I figured I needed a new one. It had been a couple of years. And so like a couple months ago, I was like, I should order a new one. And I was like, I'm just going to go on Amazon and order like a cheap one. So it was like this $10, just like cheap one on Amazon. And it came in like a pair of two. I got a small and a large, I think for 10 bucks or maybe 13 bucks. And it's this body bay brand. I still have the little thing from it, but body bay. Um, and I loved them. I, the last time I had my period, which was like a week ago, I used it, loved it more than the diva cup. So I don't know if it just fits my body better. I got the large size diva cup because I was over 30. So there's two sizes. They kind of say if you're over 30 or if you've had a kid, you should use the large or if you're under 30 or never had a kid, you should use the small big was the large was too big for me I assumed because I'm over 30 I needed it but I just don't and the brand that I am about to try on my next period has like measuring charts and all of that so they make it a little bit easier for you but I got the large one at first and I was like I'm gonna downsize so I got this I've been using the or I used the small one of this body bay brand last time and I just loved it so I'm excited to try this new brand that I have which is this company called salt with two A's, so S-A-A-L-T, um, Salt Company. Their Instagram is Salt Co. I'll leave links and everything down in the description for sure. They're awesome. They're two amazing ladies who started this company based out of Boise, Idaho, so where I'm from, um, where I live, which is really cool. I love buying local when I can. They reached out to me on Instagram and they're like, hey, we would love to send you some of our menstrual cups or period cups, a kind of interchangeable language, to try out and let us know how you like them. I was like, yeah, I just ordered some new ones, but I'm seriously open to trying new ones and I love supporting locals. So send some to me for sure. Like I'm super down. And the package I sent me is so cute. It's still in the package. I got this like two weeks ago, but I've been waiting to shoot this video. Um, I'm just been busy, but it came in the cutest little box that says hashtag pass the salt with two A's. They sent me a small and a large one. So I've got two ones. The packaging is adorable. I'll show you them in a minute. And then they sent me some pencils and they sent me some chocolate too, but the chocolate isn't vegan. So I didn't eat it. It's just sitting by my door. So I like wait till someone comes over here that isn't vegan and I can give it to them. <laughs> um, but yeah, now I'm going to kind of like show you what these look like and then look like, and then we'll talk about the benefits of them. I haven't even opened this yet. So I know I'm going to use the small. So there's a small and a regular. I know I'm going to use the small. So it's Himalayan pink. And this is the small size. The packaging is so cute. So you can see the little like menstrual cup inside of there. Um, it's just nice packaging. It feels good. And let me show you so that you're not just like, oh my gosh, how does this, what is this thing she's talking about? Let's like make the weight over and then I can talk about some benefits of it and like how, how I use it and why I like it and all that stuff. So that's it on this little packaging thing. This is so cute. I don't know. Oh, okay. Just squeeze it to get it out of there. Oh my god, it's so cute. So, okay, their packaging is adorable. It's definitely like recycled, yeah. 100% recycled. I love their Boise. FDA approved, all that stuff. They're on top of it. And it's got explanation, like descriptions of how to use it, and it comes with information and cute pictures of them, which is they're adorable. So, I'll go over some of that in a minute. But this is a menstrual cup, a period cup. Looks kind of weird. Um, but they're awesome. So, um, yeah, kind of weird. Like, what is this? What in the shit is this? This seems really weird. And it can be really like personal seeming and can seem really like uncomfortable to talk about, but I'm seriously super, super open book and don't mind kind of sharing with you guys. So I figured I'd make a video and get over some of the like kind of fears that some of you guys might have. So essentially what this does is this catches your menstrual flow instead of like your tampon sucking it up, which is, it messes with your pH and, it, and it's just not good for your body to have something soaking up your natural vaginal juices inside of your body. So this doesn't do that. This is silicone, this is BPA free, it's stretchy, it's bendy. And essentially what you do is you fold this in half like that into like a little folded thing. So, or some people can do like a V I think or I don't know, there's another way to fold it, but I just fold it in half like that, and then I'll just pinch it, and then sitting down on the toilet, like kind of relaxed, um, insert it kind of back, um, a little bit back and up, and then once it's kind of in, and you feel like there's some little grippy things right here, and then some on this uh, little thing on the end too, once you feel like it's in as far as it'll kind of go, 
not too far and then you just let go and it expands and then what I've learned to do is kind of run my finger around the outside of it and then twist it like four times just to make sure that it's fully expanded and then you can pull on this little tab and it should be like suction cupped there's little holes around the top of here that make it like suction cup airtight sealed in there and then all of your stuff goes into there and then when you're ready to take it out you pinch and pull and then just dump it into the toilet and my sink's right next to me just rinse it out with hot water and clean up and then just re put it back in and it just cleans out really well. It doesn't get like gross or anything like that. You can leave it in for 12 hours at a time. So that's like the one thing is people are like, well, what do you do when you're in public? It's like, well, I'm never out for that long. And if you are, then you can find places and ways to be discreet about it. But like, I just, when I wake up in the morning, I empty it and rinse it and then put it back in. And then you have 12 hours. So pretty much, you know, 12 hours until you have to like do anything else again. Um, kind of depending on your flow, but up to 12 hours you can leave it in and then empty it and then, you know, kind of before bed and then you're good to go. So I never do it when I'm out and about in public. Again, I have a lighter flow, so some people might have to. I've heard of some people bringing water bottles with them and just kind of like rinsing it in the toilet and kind of doing it that way until they get home and then just making sure they're washing their hands. But there's ways to do it. I am just, I've never found, I've had to do it when I was out and about. I've gotten lucky and I haven't had to do this when I was camping or anything like that. So situations may change, but I I mean, this has been super helpful. I do know some friends that will bring like some tampons on their trip just in case, like on a camping trip, just in case they start their period and they don't want to deal with this kind of on their hands and not having running water and stuff. So it might be helpful to have a backup if you're into that, but I just have never run into that issue ever. This thing has been amazing for me and I haven't really had any issues at all. Um, when you first put it in, you can leak a little bit while your body kind of gets used to it and, and whatever was kind of in the canal the, you know, the vaginal opening canal. I'm very scientific. Um, anyway, might kind of come out and you might think you're leaking, but just give it some time um, and you'll get used to it and it's awesome. So this is a small one. There's a regular one as well, which is a little bit bigger. Again, I think that they have like ways to kind of measure this. So check out their website. I think, you know, inserting a finger and kind of measuring how deep um, your finger goes in is a great way to kind of figure that out. So. I know I need a small, even though I'm over 30, um, but I haven't had a kid, so the small works for me, and I love it. So it's kind of how it works, and then I just, you know, when I'm done with my period, just rinse it out really, really well. You can like boil it if you want to completely sterilize it, but yeah, it's pretty good to go, and then just let it dry, and it comes with like a little, I think it comes with a little bag. I have a little bag to put mine in, so I don't know if this one, I don't know if these come with it. I feel like they should. There's so much more in here I didn't even notice. So under here, there's like a little instruction manual. Oh, cute! And some other awesome information and then a cute little bag. So this is, this. it comes with like a little bag to put it in. So it kind of makes it discreet. I just, if I know I'm gonna start my period soon, I just bring this with me in my purse and then I just have it. If I start my period, I just pop it in and I'm good for 12 hours. So uh, I bet the other one is a blue bag, but this is super cute. So cute little bag to bring it around in um, or keep in your bathroom so it's not just like out there in the open. But I'm really excited to try this. I have a feeling I'm gonna love it. It looks really similar to the one I used last time, the Body Bay one, but I just love that it's a local company and these women are awesome and they're supporting good causes. So yeah, I'm excited to try this on my next period, but a little bit just kind of about why I like using this a lot and why I think it's so important to make the change from tampons to a menstrual cup. 20 billion menstrual products are disposed of annually in the USA, 20 billion. And one salt cup, one of these cups, diverts 3,000 tampons and pads from the landfills because one, ca one cup lasts about 10 years and that's like about 300 tampons a year average. So three, one of these, if you use it for 10 years, which it can be used for 10 years can can keep 3,000 tampons out of the landfill which is huge that's huge amount and think of all the women adding to that amount over and over and you can do something about it so if you're into the environment and want to make a difference get one of these it also saves you money so one of these cups saves the average woman $1,500 over the cups 10-year life 1500 bucks. I mean, that's like a plane ticket somewhere awesome. So it saves you money and then each month you don't have to be like, oh, I need to get tampons and go to the store. You just like have your thing and you don't have to even worry about it. It's so nice. 
so nice. No more asking for tampons at the bar or whatever, wherever. It's just nice. You're good to go. It doesn't have any toxic chemicals. Like I said, pads and tampons can contain toxic chemicals, but this is made from medical grade silicone and it's also BPA and latex free. If you have a latex allergy, you're good to go as well. And then it promotes the natural pH balance of your vagina and doesn't cause dryness like a tampon, which is what I was kind of talking about earlier. And you can also wear your salt cup for up to 12 hours before emptying, which is like one of my favorite things. And then another awesome thing that these, these ladies really do is they're all about, you know, they're a women owned company and they're all about bringing opportunity or finding ways to bring opportunity to women who are a little bit, you know, not as supported or don't have as much opportunity as some of us have in the USA. So, so they really kind of emphasize that millions of girls and women in developing countries miss school and work every month due to lack of menstrual hygiene products. And this is so true. Like, you know, a lot of, a lot of women in Africa don't have access to tampons and pads and just have to miss school because they can't just like bleed everywhere. Which really, you know, in East Africa, most girls miss 20% of the school year because of their period and a lot of girls drop out because of it. And this is a solution. This is an easy, cheap, effective solution where they're not having to worry about ta tampons and pads and being able to afford it and how to deal with it at school and stuff like that. This is a discreet opportunity for them to to grow in a, in a new way because they're they're then furthering their education. So, you know, like, like they say, it's empowering. Education narrows the pay gap between women and men, and staying in school gives females more opportunity. In East Africa, 24% of women miss 45 days of work each year because of their periods. That's a lot. Um, access to safe menstrual products such as the salt cup promotes increased productivity and economic gain for women, which is even more cool. This company's awesome. So Salt Cup allows women and girls to safely and effectively manage their periods, giving them the self-esteem and confidence to participate in work, school, and daily activities. So once this is in, it might take you a minute to get used to, but you can just do all your activities, work, school, play, whatever you can get in the pool. What I mean, this thing is good to go. I love it. Um, I'm excited to try this next time I have my period. So thanks again to Salt Co. You guys are awesome. I guess it should say you ladies are awesome, but I say you guys a lot. So you ladies, you guys are awesome. Um, thanks again for the amazing package. I'm so excited to try this out. If you guys have any questions for me about my period, about menstrual cups, period cups, anything that I talked about, anything that I didn't talk about, like I said, I'm a pretty open book pop them down in the comments below and we can start a discussion whether I comment back or someone else in the community comments back. Check out their Instagram. I'll leave links for everything down in the comments um, or in the description below. So open that up. I always have tons of links and information for you guys there. So open that up and find links to this stuff. Uh, and yeah, I highly recommend trying a menstrual cup, a period cup, whatever you want to call it. If you've never tried it, try it. You might love it. You probably will love it. And you are, you know, making a, you're just making a huge difference in the amount of product that you're putting into the landfills and into our earth which if we can all do something small it all adds up and and kind of I want to add end on that this little quote they have on the back of this card that came with this says one little stone sends ripples across an entire lake this little cup changes a woman's life empowering her to send ripples of positive change to her family her community and her future I love that. So it's so true. There's so many reasons to try one of these and I just highly recommend doing so, especially if you care about the environment, like I keep saying, because we all should be paying attention to the environment and be trying to reduce what we are putting into the landfills and be more eco-friendly with everything that we're purchasing and buying and thinking about and doing. So it's your responsibility to do something about it. And this is a way to try something new and to do something about it. So. I highly recommend trying this. I don't even know how much these guys charge for these. I have not gone to their website and looked. So I, I yeah, I will find it out and put it on the screen right here <laughs> because I can't remember how much they charge. But I'm excited to try it. Again, I've got a large and I've got a small. I'm assuming the small is gonna work, but I'm gonna save this one for after I have a baby because why not? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope it would made sense. I kind of just came at this raw style, not really having an outline like I do sometimes for some of my videos. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of hop on here and be real and kind of chat like I was just hanging out talking to you guys about period stuff because if I can help you guys with this stuff, then why not? If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know you like this and might want more of these. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll just catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.